Ladies and gents, you join me on another multi-day adventure. In this episode, you find us through the Welsh hills on the Heart of Wales line trail. Stunned by the scenery, but also deeply focused on the pub at the very end. In 24 to 28 degree heat, the sun was zapping us and we found ourselves desperately searching for water. Despite this, I was joined by a familiar face to the channel. Some say he greets you with a middle finger. And some people also say, back in the 80s, he kept a pet beaver called Beaver. But all we know is, it's Gordon from a Shropshire lad. So come along and enjoy it with us. It's certainly a hot one. Welcome to Dave Outdoors. So ladies and gents, welcome back then. So today we are hiking the Heart of Wales Line Trail. Where we finished last time was in Knighton. And this is the Offers Dyke Visitors Centre. So we're making our way from here and we're gonna finish in Landrindod Wells, if that's how you pronounce it. So yeah, we're gonna be hiking up into the hills today. We're gonna be camping up on a ridge somewhere. In fact, we don't even know where we're going to camp. We're just going to try and get some miles in today and maybe just doss down where we can. I've already been to a place called Penny Bunt this morning, first thing. Um, we left Gordon's camper van at a campsite there. Um, the only reason we've, we're going to use a campsite is because we're trying to put some money back into local business to try and help bring it back up. But also we're going to try and promote the, uh, the local amenities as we uh, move along on this trail. So thank you very so much to the Offers Dyke uh, Association. Um, for letting us park the vehicle here anyway we can't use public transport so that's what's thrown a, uh, a spanner in the works hence the train service because that's normally what we do because it's their trail anyway let's go so after getting lost in night and already <laughs> we've managed to uh, ask this nice lady for some general directions on uh, where the heart of wales line trail goes and we're just walking down this nice little alleyway now a uh, flowing stream right by the side of us and yeah this is the route we're going to be taking heading up to Nucleus Viaduct so hopefully we'll get some nice footage of the uh, the viaduct there as well <sighs> feeling good still feeling out of shape but let's plow on <sighs> that was a very uh, steep ascent very quickly that was coming up between a couple of houses very short narrow path so we're actually doing part of the Glinders Way. And it's going to be a very hot day today as well. 23, 24 degrees today and 27 tomorrow. So plenty of water along the way and we'll be stopping to fill up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and click the little bell notification next to it. So as we've uh, left night and then we haven't seen many badges or any uh, way markers for the Heart of Wales line trail but if you're coming into Knighton you're going to be on the Offers Dyke path as soon as you get into Knighton you're going to be following the Glindowers, Glindowers way I believe it's called but I just want to show you this ridge up here that's where we were last time that's part of the Offers Dyke path <sighs> and that's where my hiking trousers split last time so I'll put a little clip or a picture on now you might remember it if you've watched the video but yeah, hiking back into Knighton was not fun. But yeah, that's just where we were last time. So we're on the other side of the valley now. So there we go. That's our first way marker we've seen. So we've just come from down here onto this road. I'll put a map on there now so you can see where we've come from. And uh, yeah, there's the first way marker telling us to head. Turn right and up this road here. Oh, thank you, Gordon. You're so kind. <laughs> Feeling good. No, don't knock.
famous Nucleus Viaduct. So we just stopped and rehydrated at one of the uh, little streams that we found there in uh, Nucleus. And now we're heading up to the castle. So I'll put a little map on now just so you can see where we are. And it's going to be a bit of a steep one. So we've made it. Nucleus Castle. We're on top of. <sighs> this little weird thing here. I've seen this in the Heart of Wales Line Trail book. So we're just leaving Nucleus Castle now. You can um, you can identify where it is on the trail if you look through the book because you'll be able to see that little wooden figure at the top, which is just up there. Here now. Yeah, we've managed to capture some good footage and we're now making our way back down onto the road and making our way now up onto the hill that's just here. And we're gonna be walking along there for approximately two mile. So we're just coming up this narrow track now. It's the first part of the big hill. I'm feeling all right. I found my pace. I'm not out of breath or anything. We've covered six miles so far. So I'll put a little map on or the little animation of uh, where we're actually going up now. And we're just, uh, on the flat for a little bit so we've ascended quite quickly from um, wherever it was i can't Loini. remember where Loini. Cloin Cloini. so yeah we've ascended quite uh, quickly from there there's a little bit of a flat now and then it looks like we're going uh, straight up to the top of the ridge where we're going to stop in the sun for a nice brew so as we come up that little track then uh, you're graced with these absolute stunning views are you ready for it boss Let's hit it. Let's do it. So I've got the camera out as my heart rate's come down because I didn't want to show you as I was uh, coming up there. Ascended very quickly and we've still got all that to go. So I don't know if you've just seen them couple of cyclists there. Uh, um, they've literally just started from Nucleus. Uh, Tim and Charlotte, shout out to you both, nice to meet you. They were actually doing a journey from Nucleus here to Aberystwyth, taking their time and wild camping along the way. So if you're watching this video, hope you uh, hope you made it, hope you had a good jaunt across and hope you found a decent pitch to wild camp. But yeah, safe travels and uh, might see you on the trail again someday. Right, update ladies and gents. Uh, I've just realised I haven't been doing much filming. And the reason for that is because when we were walking along that long ass ridge, and I mean it's long, it drags on. 
Um, I got probably halfway through and I ran out of water. Uh, Gordon only had about half a litre left himself and we were starting to panic a little bit um, because we, yeah, we were 500 metres up and on the view ranger there's not, it wasn't showing any water sources available or the only one that was available had, had dried up. So after a half an hour stop, chucking some water on myself, down in a lot of water, a little oat bar, I feel like a new man. And it's all thanks to this. I know it doesn't look the greatest and it looks very rank, but that's the importance of carrying a water filter with you. There's no way I'll drink that without a filter. So I've had about three litres of necked, well not necked it, but I certainly needed it anyway. But yeah, I feel good now. I had a soak in the hair, I had a soak in the face. Feels good now. Our man here has just done the same. He's uh, He's feeling it. Are you feeling it, mate? Yeah. yeah. And we come over the brow to find this nice view in the valley. Stunning. So after several errors, we managed to correct ourselves. We managed to find the correct path that we needed to take, which brought us down to the road, which brought us then to a chapel where we knew we had to turn right. And then, as if by magic, voila, we arrived at destination. So that's us done. We've uh, made it to the top of this hill. I'll put a map on now. It's over 14 mile we've done now. So we're pitching up here tonight now. We've got a lovely view of our uh, of all the hills where we've been across. So we've come all along the ridge from over here. And the clump of trees up here. We've come from around there, and we've come down this valley just here, around, across. And that's us done. So we're just going to have 10 minutes to ourselves, and then we're going to get some tea on. So tonight's choice for tea is... Fire pot, spicy pork noodles. If you do like your dehydrated or your wet pouch meals, Go on over to uh, thefellstore.com. Um, Hannah has been very generous and she's offering a 15% discount off any meals. Um, so if you want that discount, if you have a look in the video description, there'll be a link, but the, the actual discount code is just all lowercase, Dave Outdoors 15. So when you get to the checkout, you'll see where it says apply discount. Just put Dave Outdoors 15 in there and uh, that will uh, immediately deduct your... Um, deduct the rest of the money from the final payment so you can save yourself quite a bit so I've ordered quite a lot from there and I believe quite a few other people have already used that discount and took advantage of it they do vegan meals as well so if you're not into your meat then uh, they certainly have a good selection of vegan meals ranging from breakfast all the way through to tea and they do puddings as well so I've just had a sniff inside here and it smells exactly like a Chinese meal lovely so i'm looking forward to that and uh, you even get a bit of spice with it as well i just want to say a massive thank you to mike halliday who's uh, sent me this uh, for free so we're all keen on it it is literally like a dry bag and it is no trash no trace take the bag whenever you go into the wild as you can see i've got my litter here and from my chocolate bars i was chomping on on the trail and that all goes in this bag. And what we always do as well, before we leave at the crack of dawn, we always have five or 10 minutes just to walk around where we are. And if there's any litter, we will always pick it up. So good idea, those bags. Just wanna say a massive thanks, Mike, uh, for sending us that as well. Um, really kind of you. Thank you Mike, um, and it wasn't just me that got one either. Yeah, look. Have a look at this. Look, I've got all my rubbish in it, like a good boy. Thank you very much, Michael. So a Shropshire lad's got one as well, and we're both very grateful for it. So thank you for sending that to us, Mike. Really kind of you. Appreciate that. If For those of you that don't know Mike, this is Mike, a.k.a. Jock One. I think we're going to be in for a treat tonight. I think we're going to have a nice sunset. And then, fingers crossed, we'll get a nice... In fact, we might not even see the sunrise in the morning because uh, we're going to be gone early doors, just how we should be doing it. But yeah, we're going to have to wait for the sunrise to uh, manoeuvre up over that, uh, over that brow. 
but yeah I think we'll be gone when the sun rises uh, has just come over there but here's camp for tonight guys we are in the usual Lanshans but yeah usual um, kit for tonight because it's quite warm I got my drone there I'll send that up after maybe get some nice shots but yeah I've got uh, that's just my wind jacket but yeah no sleeping bag tonight I'm just in the quilt uh, I've got my little table power bank everything else is in there and then I've just got my stuff here for uh, breakfast and a coffee in the morning. But this um, quilt, guys, I must say, uh, it is fantastic. Five degrees comfort. It's off uh, AliExpress and it's called the Ice Flame Quilt. Now, I was very impressed with it last weekend up at the Peak District. So you've obviously seen that video if you've, uh, if you've watched it. For the rest of the evening we reflected on the day we had, watching the sunset drop below the horizon. With the stars about to appear in force, it was time to recharge, ready for another hot day full of graft. Join us in episode 2. Do we make it to the end, or not? Thanks for watching, see you on the next one. <laughs>